Library Circulation Reserve Area awaiting the start of a special Halloween tour of the facility. Included in the group of professors, students, it's, is a group of professors, students, and a possible money donor who is considering giving large sums of money to the library. They mingle among the crowd until Not now, Colonel Mustard. Now see here, Emery! That's Dr. Emery Mustard. Bah, titles won't mean much if you don't talk to me. Now I'm certain that you wouldn't want me to raise my voice, would you? I... What's going on here? Well, <clears throat> Mustard, Emery, there's no trouble at all, Miss Scarlet. At least there isn't any as, the cur as long as the Colonel remembers his place. <clears throat> And you remember yours, my dear. I'm addressed as Dr. Emery by mere students. Understood, Josephine? I believe you two should run along now. Are you conniving a little? Yes, yes, quite right, my dear. Come along now. <laughs> you just remember our deals. Why can't you just leave him alone? I see the gracious nature is apparent for no one, Professor. The inevitable Sir Black, it's so good to see you again. Yes, yes, I'm afraid I don't have time for the nice evening. I do believe that our association has gone on long enough. You've had the use of me, and now it's time to get to go our own way. <laughs> oh no, Sir Black. You may be rich, but I have knowledge. The kind of knowledge that can be quite damaging. I think our association will go on for as long as I decide. Are you forgetting that regrettable incident in Bombay? Nothing but I'm from the public, and you know it. What happened was, shall we say, regrettable? But my connection to it was completely unfounded. So unfounded that you're not willing to do whatever I demand of you? After all, money and inheritance might buy one a title, but not as much can be said for a man's character. Yeah, appearances can be deceiving. Watch your words carefully, Black. <coughs> After all, we both have secrets, but I'll wager that yours are far bigger, potentially more disastrous than mine. I would be happy to make a wager with you. You can burn, sir, burn, for all I care. We'll all burn one day, Sir Black. Yes, but I imagine you'll burn a little hot up and most. You do have such a way with people, don't you? I wonder what the university would say if they knew you were angering a rich potential donor. I bet you wish you had his kind of money, Peacock. Then you might be able to pay what you owe. You're a ruthless bitch, Emery. Yes. Yes, I am. And that's doctor bitch to you, my dear. <laughs> standing on the I wonder what people would say if they knew the real you. Why don't you go back to your chemistry set? Besides, I hear you're on the lookout for yet another husband.
Emery. Oh, whoever the hell you are this week. And you're going to pay for it, too. Die for? I'm on my way. <laughs> 